Hey power team, in this video, we're diving into a key concept that every electric vehicle owner should know, the 80% rule. Before you click off, we discuss two different 80% rules. We'll discuss why it's important for charging efficiency and longevity, how it affects your daily driving routine, and what you can do to optimize your EV's battery life, as well as your power cords. Let's get started. Like I mentioned before, there are two different 80% rules, one that pertains to your EV battery level and one that pertains to at home or mobile charging. First, we'll discuss the EV battery level. So, for your battery health, what exactly is the electric vehicle 80% rule? Essentially, it means that for day-to-day -day charging, you should aim to charge your electric vehicle to about 80%. This is not just a random number. It has two significant benefits, charging performance and battery longevity. First, let's talk about charging performance. Most electric vehicle batteries experience a dramatic reduction in charging speed once they cross that 80% threshold. If you had a Tesla Model 3 and you're charging it at a supercharger, you might find that it takes only around 30 minutes to charge from 10% to 80%. But going from 80% to 100%, that could take you an extra hour. Imagine you're on a road trip. You have a limited amount of time at a charging station making it far more efficient to stop at 80% so you can hit the road again quickly. This simple strategy helps you maximize your travel and keep your momentum going. Now, let's talk about battery longevity. Just like how we try to avoid running our phones all the way down to 0% and then charging them up to 100%, electric vehicles benefit from the same philosophy as well. Maintaining your battery between 20% and 80% can help extend its lifespan. Let's break this down into a real life scenario. Suppose your EV has a range of 300 miles when fully charged. If you charge to just 80%, you can still travel approximately 240 miles before needing to recharge. If it takes you just 40 minutes to get back on the road after charging to 80%, you could travel that distance in less time than it would take to charge up entirely. By optimizing your charging habits, you could easily hit the next charging station 100 miles down the road rather than waiting idly as your battery fills up. Of course, not every driving scenario follows the 80% rule. Sometimes you may find yourself in a situation requiring you to charge fully. Maybe it's a big long stretch between charging stations or it's a cold winter day and you want to have extra range to ensure you reach your destination. Now let's discuss the 80% rule when it comes to charging at home. This 80% rule just means that you should only charge at 80% of the current outlet's capacity. For 50 amp outlets, charge at 40 amps. 30 amp outlets, charge at 24 amps. When charging at home, you may use a few different types of outlets. And that might be a NEMA 1450 or a range outlet. It could be a NEMA 650 if you do welding in your garage. It could also be a NEMA 1430. NEMA 1430s are usually used for dryers. We've even seen people use 20 amp outlets. And in this case, you should charge at 16 amps. Most EVs come with chargers for you to adapt to the current outlets that you have. For example, our Tesla mobile charger is modular. You can adapt the mobile charger to whatever outlet that you have available in your home or on the go. Most adapters like our G2 EV adapters have a chip in them that automatically sets the amperage to 80% of the outlet's capacity. But there are other cases where some adapters don't have the chip that automatically sets the charger amperage. We bring this up because we've had customers call us about their EVs and how it just stops charging. The chip automatically stops the charging to prevent any damage. It turns out that some customers were even charging their EV at 32 amps from a 30 amp outlet. Charging above the 80% can be dangerous because it can ruin your power cords or your outlet. And here's why. EVs charge at a large and consistent rate for a long period of time. This causes more heat to build up in these main areas, like the outlet, power cord, or the switch. This is our two-way switch called EVY1430SW-036. You are able to connect both your regular appliance, like your dryer, and your EV power cord at the same time. The switch allows for you to choose which item you'd like to receive power, without wearing down your outlet by having to disconnect the two so often. For this switch, it's important to follow the 80% charging rule. In this use case, for the NEMA 1430 switch, you should set your EV's charging limit to 24 amps. So there you have it. 
The electric vehicle 80% rule is not merely a guideline. It's a strategy for optimizing the safety, performance, and longevity for both your EV and your power cords. If you're looking to further enhance your EV experience, check out our collection of quality EV charger adapters and other power solutions at AC Works. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe for more insightful content, and don't forget to hit that notification bell to stay updated on all of our power solutions. Thank you for watching, and until next time, keep your batteries charged and your adventures electrified.